Being an NRL referee is about to get a whole lot better for the man in the middle. More high tech is coming to his aid in the form of the bunker. And Ken's with me with the keys to the secret bunker. Good evening. Good evening to you, Pete. Yes, the bunker is a room full of state-of-the-art technology which will reduce the time spent on replay. The other plus, more camera angles to assist in every big decision made. In other words, there will be no reason not to get it right. It's the NRL's new nerve centre, a multi-million dollar state-of-the-art facility designed to eliminate refereeing howlers from the game. The place where in 2016, games will be won and lost at the flick of a dial. He's uh, still got possession of the ball, he definitely lands on the line with it, got a decision, Dunes it's a try mate. Three years in the planning, the NRL is ready to hit the go button on the bunker at Everly. No longer will decisions be made in small rooms at the grounds. Instead, no matter where matches are played, they'll be made here by a small group. We'll have less than 10 people involved in all in-game decision-making this season. Last year I used 22. They'll be in a better position to officiate uh, and also less of them will lead to more consistency. NRL referees boss Tony Archer says it also means quicker decisions because video referees won't rely on the broadcasters for the vision they need. All cameras at the grounds will be streamed onto dozens of screens at the bunker via fibre optic cables. Technology provided by Hawkeye, famous for their work in tennis and cricket, means they can view multiple angles at once and in sync. The ability to split a screen or to put it into a quad screen allows them to make the decision in much quicker process but also more accurately and that's the important thing out of this. For instance, if they are trying to establish whether a player's foot went out before a ball is grounded, a split screen can provide the answer instantly. Last year that would have taken two replays, uh, now that will only take one replay and that's the efficiency around the system. Last year the average decision was 77 seconds, uh, we hope to bring that down. Fans will be closer than ever as they watch the process live with broadcasters taking vision from inside the bunker during decision making. Players are up for it, but warn fans shouldn't expect miracles. They're not always going to make the right call. It's part of footy. It's, it's what happens. It's been happening since 1908 since the game started. Instead of waiting so much for the video refs, they're just going to get on with it and straight away make the course. It's the first of its kind outside the United States where it is used in most major sports. During matches, it is security locked and protected by frosted glass. This environment needs to be a controlled environment. There also needs to be integrity around this room. The technology in the bunker will also be used for many other aspects of the game. Player and referee statistics can be compiled live and right next door is the match review panel. They can scrutinise incidents during play, the ultimate aim being to put out a charge sheet against offending players on the day or night of a match. It allows them to look at the, uh, the multitude of angles uh, and allows them to process quicker. What they're heading towards during the season is the, to make that in a, in a more timely fashion. Neil Breen, Nine News.